Hi, in this today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add another image or how to add multiple image on Photo P website. So all you need to do, just go and download or not download, of course, just go and open the browser that you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. So of course, in my case, I'm actually going to uh, use Brave, but of course, in your case, you can use any other browser it could be possibly working for you. So of course, here. Uh, when you open your browser just go to the url and type photop.com and hit the enter button so this will certainly will take you here and from here you can create a new project open something from your computer use some psd template or you can just drop your file right here and start working on it for me i'm just going to click at new projects and i'm going to choose a simple template like this and we will need to wait until it loads. So once it's loaded, you will find the template, the main template here at, this, at the main screen. And at the right here, you will find all the components at this uh, template. And of course, you can like edit, edit them, move them, do whatever you want with them. So of course, if you maybe like would like to go back, just hit the control Z. And as you can see, you will go back. So, of course, if you want to insert an image, multiple image, or add another image. So, let's say as an example that our template, and we would like to add another image to it. So, simply, we would like to click at this gallery option right here. Maybe if you have a keyboard you would like to use. Um, so, maybe, I don't know, like, keyboard. Hit the enter button. And as you can see, we would like, like to choose this picture. Just click on it once. And then close the gallery right here. So, of course, you can like make it smaller, make it bigger, and choose wherever you want to put it. Of course, if you want to add another one, just click at the gallery again. And, of course, choose maybe another picture. Just click on it, on it once again and close it. Then resize it again and put it where you want. So, that's all actually for this tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.